site of RAF Langham has attracted a fair amount of media attention recently. At the eastern end of the airfield stands a strange black dome-like structure which has puzzled both locals and tourists alike for years. Affectionately known as the Christmas Pudding, what is this unusual building which sits by the roadside? Did aliens really land at Langham, hopping down the local for a pint? Was it an early predecessor of the Ray Dome at Trimingham? Or was it an Astrodome training soldiers in nighttime navigation? Recently, thanks to the formation of a local group known as the Friends of Langham Dome, more information has come to light about the structure's former use. The truth is that the dome was actually a state-of-the-art gunnery training simulator used during the Second World War to train light anti-aircraft gunners of the RAF regiment. Originally the brainchild of Henry Christian Stevens, the dome trainer concept was developed by the Royal Navy in 1940 at the Royal Navy Shore Base School of Gunnery, HMS Excellent, in Portsmouth. The Army and the Royal Air Force Regiment soon became interested in developing a similar system for the training of light anti-aircraft guns. The Langham Dome was 40 feet in diameter and constructed from concrete formed over a steel substructure consisting of a mesh of steel reinforcing wire. The inner surface consisted of pressed asbestos sheets which formed a large projection screen. So, how did the dome trainer work? Inside the dome a projector system was mounted on plinths near the centre of the floor, projecting a film specially produced by Technicolor onto the curved walls of the dome by a moving mirror system. The elevation and traverse of this mirror was controlled by two cams driven by the projector motor. The film created a realistic scenario of an attacking aircraft to test the trainee gunner's aiming skills. The trainee gunner was positioned behind the projection equipment with a replica gun set up. The deafening noises of the gun being fired were recreated by an amplifier, as were the noises from the attacking aircraft on the soundtrack of the film. Because of the aircraft's speed and the flight time of the shells, the gunner needed to aim at a point ahead of the aircraft. In order for the instructor to assess the trainee gunner's accuracy, a yellow line or spot appeared on the film, showing the aircraft's future position where the gunner should be aiming. When the trainee gunner opened fire, an image of the gun sight was also projected down the line of fire so that the instructor could see whether the image coincided with the yellow line or spot of the aircraft's future position, thereby claiming a hit or a miss. The yellow mark could be hidden from view of the trainee gunner by a yellow filter on the gun sight or by the trainee wearing yellow spectacles. Once the gunners had completed their training in the dome, they were then sent down to Stiffkey Gunnery Range for a live firing session over the marsh at droves towed by aircraft. The Langham Dome trainer was one of about 40 erected by the RAF on airfields around the country during the 1940s. Only about six remain standing today, which means that it is important to preserve this surviving wartime relic. Today, the dome is owned by the North Norfolk Historic Buildings Trust. The Friends of Langham Dome organisation are actively assisting the restoration of this unique structure. The most crucial part of the restoration will involve the replacement of much of the steel substructure, which is now clearly visible in the inside walls, rusting away for over 60 years in the dome's damp internal environment.